The atmosphere is um, really good, I think. The boys have obviously come off a few weeks off and um, I think everyone's just ready to get going and get fit and it's obviously going to be a tough tough few months but uh, you know such an unbelievably exciting opportunity and boys are willing to, to do whatever it takes to obviously get in the squad you know he's got to cut down to 30 so it's obviously there's a bit of a nervous tension in there I think for everyone but I think we're all excited about what's to come and looking forward to, to getting crack into it uh, not not yet no I think I think the good thing about the squad it's the coach that we got is very strong so there is rivalry but I think it's in, all done in a friendly nature uh, everyone will be fighting obviously for, for spots and fighting for a position but I think that's that's good for the squad it's healthy to have that, that competitiveness and push everyone higher and higher to, to perform better and, and, and hopefully get in the team. Yeah, it's obviously a, a very a very strong position at the moment. Um, you know, four lads in the squad now, fight, you know, fighting for, for probably three places. So, um, and I respect all the other the other three lads, and, and we and we all get on well. <laughs> but uh, you know, obviously, we'll be pushing each other and and, uh, and trying to and trying to get in the team. Yeah, obviously, massively. Uh, Determined to get back in the team, you know, I was in the squad. I was that third man who was coming in every week and not getting to play, which is obviously tough because the lads were going so well as well. And you know, I wanted to get involved, but you know, it wasn't to be. You know, it happens in sometimes you, you know, you're not in favour, sometimes you are, and uh, I'm confident in my in my ability that I can get back into the team and um, hopefully show them, show them a bit of that. Yeah, I think you know I've known Stuart since I was about 14. He was my academy manager at Leeds. Um, you know, and uh, you know we we go back an awful long way, and um, it's amazing, obviously, to see what he's done for for England rugby, and um, you know to to play to play for him now in, in an England shirt. You know, it's uh, it's quite surreal when you think back to playing for him as a as a 15 year old kid uh, at school. So, but you know, I think he's done a you know a brilliant job of getting the whole country behind the team and. Um, you know, we want to go and do do everyone proud and, and go win this World Cup. Yeah, yeah, I'm still as scared of him now as I was uh, when I was 14, 15. Um, when he loses his temper, you know about it. Uh, but I think you know he's he's more than I think more than a coach. He does other things. You know, he he reaches out to. You know, family members to, to speak to them to see how proud they are to, to see their son playing and playing for England, which I don't think many many other coaches would do. I think he sees the the bigger picture. He understands you know the support network that that we have with family and wives and girlfriends, and um, he tries to bring all that together to to make you as as comfortable and as happy as you can be to come into camp and forget about all that and, and really crack on and, and go out there and, and do your country proud. Obviously, you never you never know what's going to happen, but um, you know I believe in believe in myself and um, been in and around the, the squad for seven or eight years now and missed out on the last World Cup through injury, so even more determined to play in this one. Obviously, with it being at home, you know an amazing opportunity for for us all to go and do something really special. So um, I'll always back myself, uh, but I know there's a lot of hard work to do uh, to to get in there, and I know how proud I'll be if I, if I do make it. I think the main, the main one, the easy one for me is obviously the, the 2003 World Cup. I remember watching it at home with my, with my dad and one of my best mates, and you know just seeing them lift that trophy. And um, it's obviously what every boy boy dreams of doing, you know, lifting the trophy on that stage. So um, we're doing whatever we can. We'll leave no stone unturned to to work as hard as we can to be in the best shape to go and give it a good crack.